Hey everyone, I'm Brittany Noel, and I'm gonna be your Sunny Health instructor for today. If you're used to working with me, you know that I normally like to start off cute, but today we've got the hair up to start because we're doing a 10 minute HIIT Express workout. So we're getting right into business, so just be prepared because we're gonna get it going right now. Now we're gonna do a little bit of a warm up, just easy on the elliptical. So I do recommend that if you need a little bit more time to warm up, make sure that you've done that because this is gonna be a quick little one. And then we're gonna go right into some pretty intense sprint intervals for the next nine minutes or so, all right? So quick little logistics about your elliptical. Make sure that those feet are facing forward, heels lined up with the toes. Also make sure that they're hips width apart, so adjust your feet accordingly. And then also with your arms, make sure that they're relaxed, shoulders away from your ears. Remember that shoulders are ear poisoning, that's what I like to say. And you wanna have the hands a little bit lower than your shoulders or equally too. So you don't want your hands too high up. Again, figure out what best fits your form, okay? And your frame. You also, throughout the entire workout, wanna keep your core engaged. So draw that belly button into your spine, feel nice, secure in through here. Also remember that when we are ellipticaling, we are trying to use our posterior chain. Use those hammies, use those glutes, um, and try your best to keep the heels down if you can. If you don't have the ankle mobility, no worries on that. But yes, feel into it. Also make sure that you're standing up nice and tall. Now here's some things. When we start to hit these sprint intervals, you are gonna feel the need to possibly uh, start working against the machine. You might see some clunkiness. So if that starts to happen, reset, get your form back together so that you're having a nice smooth experience on your elliptical and again, maintaining good posture, okay? So just some things to think about, thoughts to think. Uh, also, keep in mind, we're gonna wanna breathe during this workout, okay? So when things get difficult, make sure that you're breathing. And we're, we're just going to be alternating between sprint intervals and rest intervals. So pretty easy, do whatever sprint it means to you. So go at the maximum speed you're capable of going for the time interval that I say. So our first interval, we're gonna do 15 seconds. So go as fast as you can for 15 seconds. Again, pay attention, make sure that the elliptical is moving smoothly. You're using your legs to power the movement, letting the arms help you. Cool, and rest. So 30 seconds. Now, you're probably like, well, that wasn't so hard, it was 15 seconds. Okay, this is gonna get more difficult, okay? The intervals are gonna get longer. So with that, that means we're also gonna get longer breaks, but it's gonna feel more intense. So the only rule is that during the rest, I just don't want you to like completely stop, just because um, I just don't want you to lose your rhythm. So you can slow down. Also note, there's no resistance right now. So make sure your resistance is down. All right, 20 seconds. Fast for 20. Breathe. Also make sure you're not bouncing up and down, okay? So you wanna have nice, smooth strides. Keep those shoulders away from your ears. And two, one, relax. All right, relaxing again. Make sure that your resistance is at one. Now, hey, if you wanna be a champion and you think you can do this with resistance and speed, do you, okay? I'm okay with that. For me, I'm not going to do that. But if you would like to kick it up the intensity, go for it. So do what your body feels like it's capable of doing today. But the most important thing is putting in max effort for the amount of time that I tell you to go. Okay, so our next interval, we're going for 30 seconds, and we're gonna go in three, two, one, go. Ah, so see, it's getting, we're getting up. We're gonna go up, and then we're gonna go down. Okay. This is max effort for 30 seconds. Keep that good posture. Now, notice, well, I don't know if you can notice. I'm putting a little bit more pressure in through the balls of my feet, similar to what I would do if I was sprinting on a track. And relax. All right. We get a minute of rest this time. But for every little bit of extra rest I'm gonna give you, we're doing more intense sprints. So the next sprint, as you might have guessed it, will be a minute. Now let's talk about this. Let's, let's talk about the logistics of this. So with it being a minute, you're gonna be getting into the speed endurance section. So that means you're gonna feel amazing and great for like 
20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. Then around 40 seconds, you're gonna start to feel like more tired. You're gonna start to feel maybe some stiffness happening in your lower half. That's normal, don't panic. You're gonna just keep pushing through it. But just things that I want you to keep in mind that as we start to increase the amount of time we're doing these all out intervals, your body's gonna react differently because we're switching through different energy systems, okay? I would think of some more fun way to explain that to you and I'll think about it after we do this one, okay? So we're gonna do in three, two, one, go. So the moral of the story is this. We're doing fast for a minute. So pace yourself in a way that you can still push it for the entire minute, but you will survive for the entire minute. So it doesn't count if you're like, oh, and you do 30 seconds and then you peter out after that. That's not how this works. So you gotta be able to maintain for the full minute. That's our agreement. So we're halfway, ha 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 ha. As I told you, you're starting to feel that burn in your legs, aren't you? Yes, you are. I told you. And no, it's not lactic acid. It's also something else strange that we're not gonna talk about because I don't feel like explaining it scientifically, but just keep moving. Just move your arms, breathe. Don't get crazy with your form, we're almost done. Push past the burn. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, okay. I warned you, it's gonna be a little bit different. Now you get two minutes to rest. Let's talk about it and breathe. This is a great time, should you have water, to drink it. Here's the rule though, you can only drink it if you can maintain your balance at the same time. If you need to stop moving to do that, go for it. So this is for my extra coordinated. Also, pro tip, don't chug your water, okay? If you chug it all down because you're like, oh, thirst, um, the second half of this workout might not feel so great because it's just gonna be sitting in your stomach. So think little sips, little sips. The good news is we've already been together for seven minutes. I know time flies when we're having fun. So as you might've guessed, we're gonna go back down that pyramid. So you've pretty much done the hardest part uh, that 60 second was the most work we're gonna have to do. So we're gonna go back to 30 seconds front. So that's happy times, right? Not so bad. So everything's gonna be literally downhill from here, but in a, in a good way. Also, just keep in mind that you wanna be doing max effort for each one of these because we don't have that much time left together. So this is your 10 minute express. You can leave, go do what you wanna do. Have some food, hang out with your friends, shop. I don't know what you like to do in your spare time after your workouts, but the point is, we'll be done soon. So I want you to make sure that you put in as much effort as possible in this last half of the workout. So we're gonna get going again quickly in 10 seconds. Oh, oh my gosh. My elliptical has betrayed me, you guys. <laughs> The, the intensity went up. Okay, we're gonna make sure that it's on level one, no resistance, 30 seconds. I was like, what in the dickens? Why is this rest break getting more intense? My elliptical's being a smart aleck, you guys. <laughs> okay, we're halfway done. And keep going. Push, five, four, three, two, one, relax for a minute. Okay, I'm watching you, I'm watching you. I was like, am I getting tired? This is supposed to be the opposite of what's happening. I'm supposed to be recovering right now, <laughs> but it's okay, we're all in under control. So that was our 30 second. We have a 20 second, then a 15 second, then we get to cool down. So. Breathe. <laughs> Does anybody remember that song like back in the like 90s? It was like, breathe in, breathe out. It was in, yeah, that's what's in my head right now. <laughs> you either know or you don't. It's okay if you don't. <laughs> I couldn't tell you the name of the song if I tried. I just know it was in a movie. You either know the movie or you don't. <laughs> All right, 
Last, well, it's not the last one, second to last one, but we're gonna go fast again for 20 seconds. And go. Remember, this is all out. Go as fast as you can, which should be faster than me because you don't have to talk. <laughs> but make sure that you're not like making your elliptical jump all the way around. It's a controlled speed. And relax. Less rest this time, 40 seconds. We have one last sprint, okay? Thoughts to think though, if it sounds like an earthquake is happening right now, when you're on the elliptical, you're going like out of control. Control it, it shouldn't sound like We don't want that. <laughs> so if you're hearing any sounds coming from your machine, um, adjust your form and what you're doing because we want to be ninjas here. Quiet is key, okay? All right, we're coming up onto our last interval. Last time, and three, two, hit it. 15 seconds. You're like, well, I hear yours. I know I'm fixing it, okay? I'm fixing it. <laughs> Using my glutes more, there we go. And three, two, one, and relax, relax. Okay. Cooling down. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Look at you, see, you survived 10 minutes. Super easy peasy. It's a great start, great way to get the heart rate up. I love these sort of workouts. Really great finisher, tiny workout that you're doing. Good kickstarter, really great. So keep breathing. Allow yourself to slowly start to come to a stop. Uh, if you feel the need to stretch out any specific body parts, hamstrings, quads, make sure that you do that, always in support of you doing whatever recovery works best for you. So please take the time to go ahead, stretch it out and all of that. Also make sure that as you come to a stop, you are stopping your elliptical nicely. So thank you so much for joining me for this workout. It was awesome, you guys did great. And I'll see you guys for the next workout. Bye for now.